Okay, hi there and welcome to a short video on microeconomics. We're going to be taking a look at uh, this short question, evaluate the impact of changes in price on consumer surplus. A chance to do some analysis and some evaluation. So here's an example answer. A consumer surplus measures the difference between what somebody is willing and able to pay for a good or service and the price that they actually do pay in the market. Now the question talks about changes in price and that can happen because of uh, movement shifts in the conditions of demand and supply which we'll look at in our answer but also uh, it can also come from interventions in markets by the government or by a regulator or perhaps a change in price that comes about from a change in business objectives. So some factors will look at increased consumer surplus whereas other factors may cause consumer surplus to fall. Let's take our first example, evaluate the impact of changes in price on consumer surplus. We'll consider the market demand and supply curve in the diagram on the right hand side. The initial level of consumer surplus is the area underneath the demand curve and above the market price. So initially it's area A, P1, B. The market price is P1, the quantity is Q1. Now if there's an outward shift of supply, for example, caused by better production technologies or improvements in productivity, then the equilibrium price will fall from P1 to P2 and quantity demanded will expand from Q1 to Q2. This leads to an increase in consumer surplus. The new area beneath the demand curve and above the price is area PA, P2, C, which represents an area increase of P1, P2, CB. Now the extent of the increase in consumer surplus depends actually on whether the suppliers in the market do pass on these cost improvements in the form of lower prices. They could keep the price more or less the same and take a higher margin. Uh, evaluation point is that uh, price falls, which we saw, uh, saw in the previous example, price falls do not necessarily mean that consumer surplus increases. There could have been, for example, an inward shift in the demand curve, perhaps a recession uh, leading to a fall in real disposable income for a product causing demand curve to shift in our diagram from D1 to D2. This inward shift of demand causes a fall in both the equilibrium price, P1 to P2, and also the quantity, Q1 to Q2. And as a consequence, the level of consumer surplus will fall. The area of consumer surplus, originally A, P1, B, now falls to E, P2, D. Quite a significant drop in consumer surplus. Changes in price can also be caused by one or more interventions in a market. A good example was the recent introduction of the sugar levy, which places uh, taxes on high sugar drinks. The tax is higher the more sugary a drink is. The tax is on manufacturers of drinks and causes an inward shift of supply, shown in my diagram, which then leads to higher prices and then in theory a fall in consumer surplus. Again, originally consumer surplus was A, P1, B, but after the tax consumer surplus falls to A, P2, C. Of course, this depends on whether the retailers the, uh, the supermarkets and the shops decide to pass on that sugar levy to consumers, which in turn depends on the price elasticity of demand and also perhaps the objectives of the firms. Typically, when demand is price inelastic, there's quite a lot of consumer surplus and a tax causes the price to go up uh, and there's a shift or a transfer of consumer surplus to the government in the form of extra tax revenue. We won't show that on this diagram, because the question is only in terms of the impact of a change in price on consumer surplus. So there we go, there's a quick video looking at three examples of how changes in price can bring about a change in consumer welfare.